Hey, it's Kevin. So, as you know, I've turned my grandma into an internet celebrity without her permission. Grandma Lil. Grandma Lil! <laughs> And I was inspired by a new series called Happy Hazel to sit down and have a mental health check with her regarding social media fame. A big thanks to Happy Hazel for sponsoring this video and giving us something to talk about. So I'm about to go to her house and sit down with her and have a serious chat and ask her how she feels about all this because I've never really asked her and it's been nine years. So I will talk to you when I get to her house. Alright, so I just got to Lil's house. Oh, how are ya? Hi, fellas and girls. Do you want to hang out and have a little mental health check? Yes, we can have a health check, yes. Mental health? Mental health, yes. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go in. I like your sweater. Thank you. Come on in. Okay. We're matching sweaters today, kind of. Kind of. Look at us. Yeah, kind of. Are you ready to get serious? Yeah, very serious. Very serious. Okay. So, this might be hard for us because we're usually just joking around. But today, we're going to have a serious chat about mental health. And this is inspired by the new series, Happy Hazel. My grandma and I binged it last week together and we're like big fans, right? Yes, big fans. Did you like it? Yes, I liked it. Something different. So we actually watched the whole series because we're exclusive and got a special link. Unlike sure. you, you probably have to wait every Thursday for a new episode to come out. But it's all on YouTube and it's really easy to watch and it's free too. I love free stuff. This is inspired by the show and so when you watch it, you'll see that it's the whole premise is about this girl who's a YouTuber and she makes everyone happy and prioritizes other people's happiness and happy then she is. She realizes that she isn't too happy and the internet is kind of consuming her. I just wanted to see what your perspective is on being a YouTuber because when we were watching it, did you relate to her at all? Yes, related. I related to her, yes. Yeah, and I just wanted to see if you also feel similar to how she felt because she has a breakdown from doing YouTube for so long and our YouTube anniversary was actually last week, so we've been having this channel for nine years now, which, nine, which is crazy. Like I said, every Thursday there's a new episode uploaded, and if you're interested in watching it, there's a link down below so you could binge it as well. The episodes are slowly getting released. So to show you a little glimpse of the show and who Happy Hazel is, I'm going to insert a clip so you can watch and we'll talk about it. Enjoy. Hey guys. This is what it's come to. Me do it, a girl breaks down for the internet to meme too. It's awesome. I'm supposed to be, you know, happy, right? That's how I used to feel about all of this, but... You know what's the worst part? I can't, I can't point at one thing and say, this thing, this big thing, is why. <sighs> what am I doing? Besides like, feeding you guys my tears, but other than that, what am I doing? As you just saw, it is very relatable and eye-opening to viewers because a lot of the time you watch YouTube and even myself watching YouTube, I just assume that it's very real, which, not saying we're fake, like, we're not fake, right? No, we're not fake. Never. This whole thing really is just a highlight reel. She includes the part of her life that is happy and amazing, meanwhile she's dealing with a lot of internal struggle. We're gonna mainly focus on your perspective and your point of view on being a YouTuber. Do you okay. want to do that? Yes, yes. So my first question is, similar to Happy Hazel, do you feel pressure to make sure your fans are happy? Sometimes I feel like I'm being pressured. By who? By, um, Kevin. <laughs> Wait, why? I don't know. To do YouTube? Yeah. Because you never know what's going to happen. What do you mean? 
I have no idea. Do you think I like force it on you to do YouTube? No, you don't force it. You just tell me what's going to go happen or what's going on. Yeah, but do you feel pressure to make sure the people watching us are happy? No, I'm not feeling any pressure. <laughs> she no. could care less if you're happy or not. No, like people that watch us and say that our videos make their day, do you feel pressure to make their day all the time? Like when you no, put up a video? No, I think it's good. It's good because then you get to be popular. At this age, did you ever think that you'd have people watching you around the world? No, never. Never at my age. Never. How does it make you feel? Makes me feel good. Yes. Make me feel good. Has it always made you feel good? Yeah. Yes. Good. It's good to be good. It's never made you feel bad? No. Never bad. No. If I felt like I was going to be bad, I would stop doing it. Is there a time when you didn't enjoy it? I don't remember anything like that. No. I don't remember that. I, I always liked it. Okay. That's good. So you always never... Always liked it. So if I wasn't here and you're alone, do you ever think about all of your fans and the internet fame that you've acquired? Yeah, I think about it a lot, so that's good. At least it keeps me busy. When you're thinking about it, it's all positive or is it negative too? No, it's positive. It's all positive stuff? Yes, yes. Okay, well that's good. You don't let any comments get to you? No, no comments. If someone left a mean comment, you just... I ignore, ignore it. I gotta ignore it because if you keep it up and tell them something, they're gonna do it more. Yeah, see, I've trained her well. You just gotta ignore the negative and focus on the positive all the time. You yes, know? yes. Over the past nine years of doing this. I don't believe it could be nine. Me either. Well, okay, I started in 2011 by myself. And then I brought you in in 2012. So eight years yeah. for you, but the channel has been around for nine years. Okay. Ah. So eight years of doing this, has your thoughts changed? No, it didn't change. No? No, it didn't change. It felt good. I can't imagine being old, no offense, and just getting internet fame and not really knowing or not even asking for it too. Because I just whipped out a camera and started filming you. Yes, he did. That's what he did. So if we can go back in time, would you make sure that didn't happen or would you not change anything? No, I won't change nothing. So you're glad that it happened? Yes, I'm glad it happened. Yes. I'm glad that he was born so we we could start as he got older. Then he wanted uh, us to, to do the YouTube. And I'm so glad. Oh, that makes me glad. So I guess what I've learned is that you fully enjoy being yeah, fully enjoy. an internet person. So yes. You, you like it? I like it. Yes, I like it. What there's are you going to do? There's nothing you would change? No, I wouldn't change. And you're, you're telling the truth? I'm telling the truth. Honestly, sometimes I think, oh, did I corrupt my grandma? Did I make her into like something that she didn't want to be? But that's not the case. No, that ain't the case. You're happy it all happened? Oh, yes. And I'm, I'm glad that it happened. Okay. It kept me busy, felt younger. I'm like, happy Hazel, my grandma's mental health is okay. Two thumbs up for your mental health. I'm also good too. Again, I didn't want to focus too much about my mental health to, for this. I just wanted to see where your head's at, you know? Yep. So again, if you're interested in watching Happy Hazel, um, the link is down below, so click it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Yeah, give it and a thumbs up. Subscribe. Subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Hope to see you next time. Hope. Peace.